all on tech special information in this video we are going to discuss a fairy lock code which is based on a state diagram problem so at first i will discuss the problem then i will draw the state diagram then i will tell you how to write a fairy lock code based on a state diagram and we will show the test pins also how to check our design is correct or not so in this single video we are going to cover at least 70 percent concept of fairy lock this video will be from basic to advanced level so if you don't have any idea about fairy lock then also you can watch this video you will get a complete idea from basic to advanced level at first let's discuss the problem the problem is there is a high road okay and there is a fork road or you can call this side road so cars are going through the main road at first try to understand the problem okay uh, this is our high road and this is our fork road okay so cars are going through the main road and the main road there is traffic light red yellow and green and in fork road also there is traffic light red yellow and green so we are going to make the state diagram and fairy lock code for that traffic controller so there will be some states so what are the what will be the first state suppose when cars are going through the main road and fork road is closed that means the high road light should be green green indicates car should pass with full speed and fork road light should be red so this is our first state high road light green and fork road light red then what will happen this controller will wait for a particular time interval that we can call the long time tl okay when long time is over we are indicating tl equals to 1 that means our wait time is over so when long time is over and there is a car detected see variable we are using to indicate there is a car on the fork road so long time is over and there is a car on the fork road then what will happen then our high road light will become yellow yellow means the car should reduce their speed and at any time the light may become red so yellow light indicates that car should reduce their speed so high road light will be yellow and fork road light is still red this is second state okay then what will happen high road yellow and fork road red then again it will wait for a short time interval okay that's that we are indicating by ts ts means short time interval the controller will wait for a short time interval and if after that still there is a car then what will happen the high road light will become red and fork road light will become green okay this is the third state so short time is over and car is detected third state high road right red and fork road light is green in this condition what will happen it will again wait for a particular time that is our long time so what will be the next state next state will be high road light still red and fork road light will become yellow okay when it will go to this state when our long time tl is over 
okay tl is over and still car is there okay then it will go to this state high road red and fork road yellow then from this state what will happen after the short time is over after short time is over so ts is over or there is no car high road red fork road yellow but if there is no car at fork road then also it will go to initial state so ts or no car okay not of car so we are giving priority to our high road okay so see here another condition can be here high road right yellow fork road light red but if the controller identify that one car was previously detected but at present that car is not present there then also it will go to initial state when it will go to initial state when the short time is not over but no car is there so you can indicate like not of car and from this state high road red and fork road yellow if no car is detected there from this state then also it can go to initial state this condition also can be not of this also can be not of car not of C so this is our complete diagram let me explain it again so the explanation is that high road green fork road red that is our initial condition if there is and the controller will wait for a particular time interval that is our long time tl so if end of that particular time interval tl there is car detected on the fork road then it will go to next state hyfr that means high road right light yellow and fork road light red that is next state so fork road right red red and high road light yellow in this condition if there is still car present and short time interval ts is over then it will go to next state high road light red and fork road light green so in that condition it will wait for a long time interval so when that time interval is over and a still car is there then it will go to next state high road light red and fork road light yellow that means fork road car should reduce their speed and after that either short time interval is over or no car is there on the fork road then it will again go to initial state high road light green and fork road light red so we are going to write the serial code then i think that will be more clear for you so let's start from first line that is module so the fairy lock design will be written inside a module module is a keyword and name of the module is traffic okay as we are indicating here name of our module is traffic this is name of our module and this module is a keyword okay so then we are giving some input and output or inputs are like this you can see here so these are our inputs c c indicates that there is any car present on the fork road or not if there is any car present c equal to 1 or c equal to 0 so here input is also a keyword which indicates the input variables we are not mentioning any size here we can mention size like this one this is called one down to zero that means two bit variable okay 
bit number 1 and bit number 0 2 bit variable we are not mentioning any size after input that means all input variables are single bit variable so our inputs are c which indicates car is present on the fork road or not tl is the long time tl tl equals to 1 means long time is over tl equals to 0 means long time is not over ts is short time same for concept 0 1 here and clock and reset okay next is output you can see here our output is h and f h indicates that the high road light and f indicates the fork road light we are taking it as a two bit variable why uh, we can indicate like that h equal to that means light is green one means light is yellow and zero means light is red these are our notation okay so three condition we have to represent that's where that's why we are taking h and f as two bit variable now why we are writing reg reg means register so output variable we can declare as a register register means it can store something so output means we are using this variable to store something and we are taking another two variables cs and ns cs means current state and ns means next state this is a two bit variable one down to zero that means two bit variable two down to zero that means three bit variable why two bit variable because four states are there these are four states highway green fork road rate like that okay one two three four and we are representing those four states using some value we are assigning using this keyword parameter we can assign some value to some variables h g f r this is a variable okay h y f r this is another variable we are assigning value to four variables 0 1 2 3 so these are our four states then see the always block two always block will be there in our design so this is our first always block this is called next state always block okay so how to write a always block syntax is very simple always then at the rate inside the pair of parentheses we have to mention the sensitivity list this is called the sensitivity list okay so this always block the value inside this always block whatever uh, statements we are writing inside this always block that will change depending upon the sensitivity list if there is any change in this sensitivity list means if there is any car detected or long time is over or short time is over or reset or current state change then this statements will vary okay now see another syntax is what always then we can write always block inside begin and end okay so see here begin is here end is here okay so first we are writing if reset so if reset is applied then what will happen in any condition okay so our system is at any state if we apply the reset our next state will become the initial state highway green fork road rate okay A, else means if reset is not applied then case current state so if our current state is hgfr highway green for road rate then what will happen i already told you these things if long time is over and car is detected on the fork road then our next state will become highway yellow for road rate otherwise our next state will remain as it is okay then next condition is highway yellow fork road rate in this condition if short time interval is over and car is still present then what will happen next state will be highway rate 
and fork root green okay and else if if no car is rejected suppose this is in second state this is state highway yellow fork road eight but we can't find any car at present then it will go back to initial state that is highway green fork road red so else it will remain in the current state highway yellow fork road red next state is what highway red and fork road green in this state if no car is rejected okay then directly it will go to initial state highway green fork road red okay and else if if i zoom out you can see it i think yeah so next study is this one long time interval is over and car is still there then it will go to next state highway red fork road yellow so in this state the fork road yellow means fork road car should reduce their speed else it will remain at the current state only and if highway red fork road yellow okay so either no car is there or the short time interval is over then it will go back to initial state highway green fork road red else it is remain at current state so for writing the case we have to the syntax is case inside pair of parenthesis the case name the case is applicable on which variable here case is applicable on current state cs okay and end case should be there so this is the end of this always block now go to next always block the next always block is called output always block you can say this one and here always at the rate pauses of clock so this always block is a sequential always block sequential always block means concept of clock will be there okay and remember this inside sequential always block we will prefer to write the non blocking statements non blocking statements means less than equal symbol okay see here in this always block this is a combinational always block this is a combinational always block no concept of clock is here so inside every statements we are using this equal to symbol equal to symbol this is called blocking statements and less than equal is called non blocking what is the concept of blocking and non blocking blocking statements means all the statements will be executed sequentially like suppose i am writing a equal b and then i am writing c equal a that means what first b will be assigned to a then a will be assigned to c so if this two statements are executed then value of a will become the value of b and value of c will be value of a that is the value of b okay but what is the concept of non blocking suppose i am writing like this a equal b c it getting the value of a that means these two statements will be executed parallelly so at the same time value of a will become will go to a value of b will go to a and at the same time value of a will go to c this is the concept of blocking and non blocking in future video i will discuss about this more okay so now go to output always block as you can see here here at every starting of positive clock we are assigning our next state to our current state okay and here another case we are taking case is next state so based on next state we will decide our output variable values so highway green fork road red i have already discussed that we are indicating two as green zero as red and one as yellow so based on the next state we are assigning value to our output variables h and f end case then end begin and end then we wrote module traffic so end module should be there so up to this point this is design so after that we are starting test bench we can write test bench and design into separate file also okay now let's see the test bench 
so test one starts from here module tv uh, we are assigning the module name as tv and we are taking the resistor and wire remember this in test bench we declare our input variables as register and output variables as wire okay here i am giving same name to my input and output variable inside test bench you can use the different name also okay so here i am using same name there this line remember this this is called the module instantiation okay our module name was traffic so we are using a instance name ts this is the syntax module name space instance name then inside this we have to write the parameter values uh, sorry this uh, variable names if we give a separate name suppose see i have given inside design to indicate that car is present on fork road or not suppose inside the test pens i am get, giving the name cr so we can write like this dot cr in bracket c like this you can write okay so i am giving same name so i no need to do this then i am using always block always hash 5 hash 5 this indicates the time period so after every 5 unit time our clock will change clock equal not of clock so initially suppose clock is 0 so after 5 the clock will become high then after 5 again the clock will become not of clock means 0 like that okay so that's why this line is used so after that again we are using a initial block initial uh, this is another type of block so in initial block also we can write the statements inside begin and end so initially we are assigning clock to 0 and reset to 1 then after 10 has 10 means 10 means time period after 10 unit of time we are using c equal 1 that means car is detected and we are applying reset to 0 so car is detected and next we are writing c equal 1 t equal 1 that means car is detected and long time period is over then here what we are writing c equal 1 t s equal 1 that means car is detected and short time period is over okay like this we are giving our inputs then here we are printing something to check our design is correct or not to print something we can use dollar monitor we are using sensitivity list here this is a sequential always block okay we are writing what always at the rate pause of clock so every positive age of clock we are printing something we are printing some variable values what variable value input our car long time period and short time period and we are also printing output variables h and f so dollar finish this we can write inside the initial block if there is only one statements inside the initial block so there is no need of begin and end okay so after 100 time unit we are going to finish our simulation so dollar finish hash 100 dollar finish here is end module so this end module is for ending the test bench module now we are going to run it so how to run it to run it we will just escape then wq write and quit I will make a separate video about the uh, Unix comment and GVM editor also. So, here we have to type the comment iVerilog, then file name traffic.p. Now, we have to write dot slash a dot out file will be generated after writing the comment iVerilog space file name. Okay, then yeah, we are getting our output. I think you can see it clearly as we are getting we are keeping the value initially car is detected and long time period is x means we have not provided any value yet so initial h will be 2 and f will be 0 that means high road right high road light is green and fork road light is 
till rate okay see here c equal 1 and t equal 1 that means car is detected and long time is over so at next positive age of clock at 25 what will happen the high road light will become yellow and far road light will remain still red see here at 30 at 30 simulation time what we are doing uh, car is detected long time is already over and short time is also over ts equal 1 so that means at next positive edge of clock what will happen our high road light will become red h equal 0 and for road light will become green f equal to like this so our design is also correct so if you have any doubt regarding this problem you can ask me in the comment section thank you